Hello everyone, so today um, I would like to present a question which I found on a, on a calculus book which is given that the integral of sine, which is a square, the square root of x plus 1 dx. Now, the way we want to solve it is by first we apply a substitution to perform integration by part, okay? So, <clears throat> it, it's very important to determine which substitution you'll be performing to begin um, using the technique of integrate by part. Anyway, so we have the sine, the square root of x plus 1 dx. Now, there is a lot of choices here, but the best choice is to make is by letting u is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Alright, so let u is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Then we take the derivative, the first derivative will be 1 divided by 2 times the square root of x plus 1 dx. Now, now what we're going to do now is first by multiplying both sides with 2 square root of x plus 1. And over here, if you realize that this term is similar to this term, meaning that we could substitute it to become 2 two times u du is equal to dx. Now, by replacing dx and replacing the square root of x plus 1 with u, you will obtain the following, which is 2u sine of u du. Now, if you are familiar with this uh, expression, it means that you have to perform integration by part. So, but first, let me bring out a constant that can start performing it. So, u times sine of u du. <coughs> so, now you have to determine which one will be your dv because the formula that we will be using is the following u. The, we integrate u dv is equal to u v minus v du. Now, this is the formula for using the technique which I mentioned. And now we have to determine which one will be the dv and which one will be the u. So based on our function here, the product of two functions, u, no, sorry, dv, we have to determine dv so that you can easily determine which one is u. So based on our observation, the easiest one to integrate is sine of u. But we could argue that u also is easily integrated. But when you try an error by choosing you see that if you choose dv as u, sorry, dv is equal to u du, when you integrate it, it doesn't help much. It doesn't give you a much more simpler form. Therefore, from here, you could realize that, okay, dv, the most suitable would be sine of u du. So dv is equal to sine of u du. Now, when you integrate both sides, you obtain your v which is the negative cosine of u, and then how about your u? Sorry, since we are using the variable u, it would be best if we use another variable to make it better. So for the situation, I might use w as my other variable to not make it confusing. Therefore, it will be w is equal to u, and when we um, differentiate this, we become dw is equal to du. Now, I, I want to readjust the formula to make it clearer. So, here I might use w, and then the result will be w v minus v dw. Okay, looks good. So, all we have to do is just substitute everything into it. Now, the first will be wv, which means w times v, will result in negative u times the cosine of u, and then minus, we integrate um, negative cosine of u <coughs> du. Okay, now it's easier now. You will be integrating cosine of u. Now, it will be 2 negative u cosine of u plus sine of u plus c. Now it looks better. And finally, all you have to do is just resubstitute your u. So it would be the square root of x plus 1. 
then we have 2 times with negative the square root of x plus 1 cosine of the square root x plus 1 plus sine the square root of x plus 1 plus c. We add the plus c because it's an indefinite integral, right? So let me check the answer. If you want to rearrange it to make it much more appealing, then you you are feel free to do so. So by rearranging, sorry, rearrange it, you obtain sine the square root of x plus one minus the square root of x plus one times the cosine of the square root x plus one plus c, and there you go. So that is your resulting integral. Okay, so let's recap a bit. So first things first, you have to find a suitable substitution to perform the other technique of integration, which is the integration by part. And by performing integration by part, you have to determine which is suitable as the dv and which one is suitable for your variable u, or in this case, w, because we already used the variable u. And then by performing it using the formula given, solve the following okay so i hope that helps and see you later thank you very much